Hey guys, just me, nothing else. Back once again, just to give you guys an update on what it is that I'm doing with my hair. Um, so I've been working on this whole low porosity thing, as I've been explaining in my last few videos. Ever since I found out I'm low porosity, I realized that I really need to start working with this to find out what it is I need to do with my hair. So this is, these I should say, are the results of my second low porosity wash and go attempt. Yay! So this time, um, what I did was what I mentioned in my last video. I actually tried the, um, what is it, the Cherry Lola treatment where I got the yogurt and I got the amino acids and I got the baking soda. Now, I will say that I watched the a couple of the websites and I definitely watched um actually the um the um Cher Cherry Lola's actual website. Um and I was kind of interested in learning a little bit more about the liquid amino acids knowing that you can cook with them and I realized that so many of these products that we use for our hair are all natural products that you can use on your skin or you can cook with so I tasted the liquid amino acids and you guys it tastes exactly like soy sauce if this is a more healthy alternative to soy sauce than soy sauce is then I'm giving up soy sauce and I'm about to just start buying these liquid amino acids. I mean, I can't tell the difference between this and soy sauce whatsoever. Other than I think they don't add any additional, like, salt or sodium to it. Um, and I believe it's not cooked, I guess. And, you know, so many products, it's much better for you if it's not cooked. And that's why, you know, when we look for coconut oil and things like that, we always look for the cold press. That means that it hasn't gone through a heating process. And, of course... You know, if you know anything about nutrients and vegetables, when or food period, when you heat it up, you take a lot of the, the nutrients out of it through the heating process. Um, so I think this is going to be a great alternative to soy sauce. Just to let you guys know, um, if you have any, try it. I swear, it tastes just like soy sauce. Okay, so moving forward, talking about the cherry little treatment. So, watching a bunch of videos on YouTube, I noticed that a couple of ladies were mentioning that they hated the smell of it. One young lady mentioned that she didn't really prefer yogurt, and so the yogurt smell really bothered her. I could understand that if you're not, you know, um, you know, you don't like yogurt, I can understand how that smell would bother you. I hate bananas. So, there are hair products out there that have the smell of bananas, and I hear they're wonderful hair products that would probably be great for my, you know, type of hair, but... I'm not even going to go there because I can't deal with the smell of bananas. So I can understand that kind of a smell distraction or aversion. Um, but as far as the smell of all of it being mixed together, I've heard a lot of people say it stinks and they seem really taken aback by it um, when I was watching the videos. And I mixed it together and I thought, okay, I can see why some people would think it stinks. Um, but it doesn't seem that offensive to be like, oh, ooh, it stinks so bad. But then I started thinking about it, and I'm like, that is a very familiar smell. What is that smell? And it is the faint smell of a relaxer. I swear, it smells, it reminds me of a relaxer, the smell of it. I don't know if that's because of the, um, the you know, what, what is it, sodium bicarbonate or the, you know, baking soda. Um, if that's what gives it that scent. But that is what that scent is that I think everybody is really offended by. And honestly, if you are a natural lady who has never gotten a relaxer, that would be a very volatile smell, I would imagine. For me, it's something that I'm very used to because I, I just big chopped, you know, a couple months ago. That that's I'm so familiar with that smell. I'm putting it in my hair like... Why does everybody think it's so stinky when it's so familiar to me? But if you've never gotten a relaxer, yeah, I'm sure that is, like, foul. <laughs> so I, I now understand, going back, listening to some of the videos, why some people were so offended by the smell. At first, I was sitting there like, why were they so offended by the smell? I was really kind of thinking, like, they went overboard. And then I started thinking about it like, no, I don't think they went overboard at all. I think that if you've never dealt with that, it would be very, very offensive. 
but like I said, I'm used to it. Um, so I'm not by any ch means, please, and I'm not saying it, don't anybody take my words for it that this is relaxing the hair in any way. That is not what I'm saying based on the pHs or anything like that. I've done research on that as well and watched enough videos and, you know, gone to enough websites outside of YouTube because I don't just rely on YouTube for my information um, about different pHs and the pH of um, actual baking soda as opposed to the pH of a relaxer, as opposed to the pH of some of the more, um, regular everyday shampoos that we're using that contain sulfates. Um, so yeah, I'm not by any means saying that this is something that is relaxing the hair. I'm just saying that that smell reminds me of a relaxer. And that is why it can be offensive to some people. But I do think that has something to do with the ingredient of the baking soda. It's just that simple. So, um, yeah, I have to say that the treatment felt normal when I put it on. Um, watching a lot of videos, I noticed a lot of people got really messy when they were putting it on. I actually put it on and it stayed very contained. And I put quite a few of the amino acids in mine. Um, it came to a nice frothy consistency. I just, you know, applied it with my hands. I made sure that I completely saturated my hair. I put a um, plastic cap on. I kept a, the plastic cap on for 30 minutes. Um, Cherry Lola says that you only have to leave it on for like 20 minutes, you know, and once that I saw her do. But I went ahead and went for the extra 30 just to be safe because my hair really seems to deny moisture. Like, I, it, it's hard to get it wet. <laughs> and then, of course, once I put products on it, forget about trying it. So, um, yeah. So I rinsed all that out, and then, of course, I co-washed my hair with my normal Trader Joe's Tea Tree Tingle. Um, and I then used my Shea Moisture, um, the Moisture Milk, and I used that as my leave-in conditioner, and I just put a little bit in my hand this time. I'm learning that less product is more for my type of hair instead of more product is more. Um, so I'm not saturating my hair with product the way I was before. Um, learning how to kind of have some product control, which is... Thank you, Jesus, that I need to exercise product control because then I'll have more product. I won't have to spend so much money um, re-upping on my products because I'm using way too much of my hair. So, yeah, I just put a little bit in my hand, and I rubbed that, you know, and multiplied it in my hands, and I kind of, you know, distributed that evenly and worked it on through and made sure that I detangled and everything. Um, and then... I actually got some grapeseed oil because I want to use an oil to lock, you know, the, the, the hair strands back down, to lock the cuticles back closed. Once I've got them open, I've done the Sherry Lola treatment. They're supposed to be wide open. I'm getting this good moisture in there with the Shea Moisture Milk. I mean, it's got so many good things. It's got the coconut, you know, oil. It's got the Shea Moisture in it. I looked up neem oil, which is in the Shea Moisture products, and neem oil is amazing. They, they have so many um, benefits. I mean, like antibacterial benefits, um, antiparasitic. Look up neem oil, just N-E-E-M oil, neem oil. Neem oil is in all the Shea Moisture products, and so while I'm reading through the products, I'm like, what the heck is neem oil? I've never even heard of it. It sounds amazing when you actually do some research on it. So I'm really impressed with these Shea Moisture products and what it is that they're putting in there as far as um, taking care of the hair, and I, I like what it's doing for my hair. Um, so I'm going to continue to play around with their different, you know, um, products, but I'm mixing and matching with other things. I haven't gotten into the point of product junkieism yet. But I can see myself getting there slightly until I find out exactly what's going to work for my hair. Um, but, yeah, so then I took the grapeseed oil that I got back to that. <laughs> and I put just a tad bit of that in my hand, too. Not a lot. Um, when I had relaxed hair, I would use the argon oil. And I would use quite a bit of it. But my hair was also longer, and I was really looking for a silkening effect, and I was looking for, you know, um, to get moisture in there and then also to put a heat protectant over that. You know, so I wanted to make sure that I got that good in there and it made it very shiny and very, you know, full of body. Um, but I'm going with the grapeseed oil this time. I want to try that because it seems more natural. I like the idea that, you know, it's grapeseed, it's fruit. You know, I, I don't know. It just seems like, a, you know, coming from a grape plant might be a really good thing. You know, I like grapes. <laughs> 
But anyway, I put a little bit of that in my hands. I once again emulsified that, and I just kind of went, you know, um, back and forth with my hands and kind of rubbed it in and smoothed it in a little bit. I didn't really do any raking with my fingers because by this point I'm trying not to disturb the curls because the curls are very defined after the treatment, I do have to say that, you know, it doesn't really seem like there's any dry areas in the hair. It seems like the moisture really soaked in, um, but I definitely wanted to close that hair shaft with just a little bit of the grapeseed oil. And when I say a little bit, I mean just a little bit, and I, just, you know, just kept on working that through and trying to distribute that through the hair because, I, like, I'm reading and hearing less product is more. Um, so I'm trying to control myself with that. Then, of course, I wanted to put my um, styler on, and I once again went, the, went with the Kiki Curly, Curly Custard because um, I'm trying out this product. So what I'm doing is using the entire container up, trying it different ways, finding out what works best for me, what doesn't, as far as the Kiki Curly goes. And then I'm going to move on to something else. I think the Behold um, Curly Butter is what I want to try next. I'm really interested in trying that line, um, as well as the Deja's um, hair milk. Those are the two things I want to try. I want to try the Deja's hair milk as the um, leave-in conditioner, and then, of course, the Behold Curly Butter as the styling agent. But, yeah, but as far as this goes, I put just a little bit of the Kinky Curly, you know, in my hands once again, and I worked that through the hair and just kind of, you know, played around with that, smushed that on in, and I really controlled myself on the portion this time. I think that last time I used entirely too much. When I say entirely too much, I mean like way too much, entirely too much, on top of too much, on top of way too much, on top of too, too much. Like I went, I was heavy-handed with it. You, but, you know, I'm learning. <laughs> so I like the way that my hair has turned out this time. Um, of course, I still don't have the greatest light, but I'm sure you can see a little bit here. I mean, every one of my curls is defined. Every one of them. Every one. I mean, even the back where I have all the problems, perfectly defined. I'm so happy! So the Cherry Lola treatment really did me justice. Um, I will continue to use it as long as I don't see any adverse effects over the next week. Hopefully I'll wake up tomorrow, my hair will be nice and moisturized, I can get up and go without having to put any product in it. If I can do that for about three days and I, my, my hair can stay moisturized without having to add a daily moisturizer to it for three days, I'm sold. Um, it's not something that I would do all the time, but definitely I'm so happy to find something that can get some moisture into my hair if that's what it does. I'll keep you guys tuned on what happens as far as this goes, but I definitely wanted to keep you in tune on what it was I did this time as far as using the same products that I've been using, just changing up the different ways I'm using them. Um, but I did change out the coconut oil, and I'm adding the grapeseed oil instead because I have to use the lighter products. I'm adding a lighter hand as far as application goes. Um, I am applying to wet hair, the damp hair. Didn't work for me. Soaking wet hair didn't work for me. So now I'm just going with moderately wet hair. So it's not soaking wet, but yet it's not damp. It's got to be more wet than damp. But soaking wet is too much. Um, this time I really like my application so far. Um, and honestly, it seems like it's drying pretty quickly compared to normal. So we're going to see what happens. Um, I can't wait to see what tomorrow's results are. I know it's going to, I'm going to have such shrinkage. It's going to be ridiculous. Um, my first day here always looks horrible because of the shrinkage, but the last time I did it, my second day here, my third day here, turned out really great. So far, I've only been getting three-day hair, but I think more than anything as far as the three-day hair goes, it's because my scalp is just so bad, you guys. Oh, my God, I must have the driest scalp in the world. That's the next thing I'm about to start researching. How do I combat this dry scalp? I've heard about tea tree oil, peppermint oil. Um, I got the Trader Joe's um, to try and help me, you know, with the itching scalp. Um, but it is bad. It is bad, and it is just so bad. And every three days I have to get some water on there. I have to scratch my scalp. I got to get in there. <laughs> so that's my next research project. All right. See you guys later. Thanks for listening to me. Thanks for watching. Bye.